One simple way to get started with SwiftUI is to host a SwiftUI view in an existing UIKit app. We have a SwiftUI view file that we'll use to replace an old UIKit view controller in this README app. If you built a version of this app in the Your Second App or the Table Views course, this probably looks familiar. This app is not exactly the same as either of those. I pared things down a bit to keep the project smaller. Anyway, the view controller we're going to replace is this new book view controller. To start, open up the library and drag a hosting controller onto the storyboard. A UI hosting controller is a special type of UI view controller whose content is a Swift UI view. Now drag a segue from the new book cell to the hosting controller and pick show. And I'll just drag this old view controller out of the way for now. The next step is to connect this segue to our existing code. So open up library view controller.swift in a new editor. Then control drag to add an IB segue action to the top of the view controller. You can use an IB segue action where you might have used prepare for sender in the past. It's most useful for dependency injection when you want to set properties on the destination view controller when you create it. That makes IB segue action an especially good match for Swift UI, even though we won't be making use of it right now. Inside of this method, the last step is to return a UI hosting controller. Pass in an instance of the Swift UI view you want to navigate to as the root view. Now build and run the app to try it out. Well, the navigation works, but we can't actually use this view to add a new book yet. Let's take a look at newbookview.swift to see how we can hook it up. The new book view is managing its own state, just like it would in a Swift UI app. There are a trio of state variables connected to the text fields and toggle. Now we just need a way to pass this data back along to the rest of the app. Like other versions of this app, this one is equipped with a library type that manages all of the saving and loading of books. We just need a place to call that library's add new book method. A common place to do that is from a navigation bar button. You can do that from right here in the Swift UI view with the navigation bar items modifier. We want a trailing button, and it will just be some text, add to library. For the action, make a new book with the data stored in this view. And then add the book to the library, just like you would have from the UI kit view controller. You can also use the disable modifier to disable the button if there's nothing in the title or author fields, so you aren't accidentally saving empty books. I think this button should also dismiss the view when it's done saving. To do that, we can grab the presentation mode property from the environment. And then use it to dismiss the view. Now give the whole thing a try. Add a book. There's the Swift UI view. Type in some details for a new book. Save it. Now we're back at the table view, which is still working exactly as it did before. There's a diffable data source running here that figures out if there's a new book from view will appear. There is a new book, the one we just added, and it's right here.